What is up YouTube? This is Jesse's RC. And before we start this video, I want to go ahead and mention it to you guys that this video might be kind of drug out just a little bit. Just because the helicopter that I have here in front of the camera is something that I really want to talk about. I found it very interesting and it's a very great flying helicopter. So watch the videos, see what I have to say about it. There is a few flaws in it. I will bring that up, but if it seems drug out, you guys, I apologize. So, let's go ahead and start the review. What I have here is a Black Spider XT Tactical Wireless Indoor Helicopter. Now, I, I've i been looking at this, and I actually flew it. I tested it out before I'm going to do a review on it. And I have to say, the whole carrying case thing that they have going on that you can just carry the helicopter in, that's very nice. I actually tried out another helicopter that I already have uh, Something similar like a little sky rover or something. that's a standard size will fit into this case So if you don't want to fly this helicopter, but you have another one it will fit into this without a problem uh, It says on the back of the box uh, easy to fly two channel infrared helicopter built-in LED light uh, It does the controller doesn't include the charger. It did not come with the USB cable uh, let me see if I can get that glare off for you guys. There we go. I apologize about that. Uh, it is a two-channel helicopter. That's mainly what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Because uh, for a two-channel helicopter, it's about the best you can get. In my opinion, it's the, it's the best one that I have flown that is two-channel. Uh, it has a, a built-in LED light. They are very bright. I'll demonstrate that in the video. And the charge time is around 30 minutes and flight time is about 7 minutes. It's a 3.7 volt, 150 milliamp battery. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and come back around to the front. You have three tabs and one at the bottom down here. And I don't know if these will last forever. They, they, uh, they kind of just pop off really if you pull on them. So they are kind of have been a little bit of a pain to keep up with. but. I don't know you can't really complain about it it's it's what the helicopter came in you know so <clears throat> you can't go too much into a complaint about that it opens up from one side and folds over if I need it to open up and so it folds open like so folds open long ways the helicopter is secured which I did not have mine secured because I was previously testing it out but the helicopter propellers actually fit in between there and then that clamp locks down over the propeller so it can't go nowhere and the landing gear leg slides into there and over when you're carrying this thing around and the legs popped into this and the propellers are secured into this you, your helicopter ain't going nowhere so you don't have to worry about that you got your controller over here and then it came with two extra uh, blades and a back rotor if you guys can see that I apologize about the lighting. It's not the best lighting today. I'm trying out a different spot, but uh, <clears throat> I was looking on YouTube before I before I planned on doing this review, and I did not see a very good detailed review about this helicopter, and I I considered to myself that it deserved a decent review for the quality that you're getting for it to be just a two-channel helicopter but before we get into the helicopter let's set this over here <clears throat> let's get into the controller um, it's very simple there's there's nothing to really talk about with the controller I mean you have your throttle control I noticed when flying this the throttle needs to be about 75 percent all the time for it to stay in the air um, and then you just have your basic steering. The helicopter, with it being two channel, it will stay in forward flight all the time. So there's no reverse or nothing like that. It's just easy peasy, just right and left. So you don't want to get it close to an object and not have enough space to turn because it will run into it. But back to the controller, <clears throat> you have your trim buttons down here. You have your off and on switch up here, and you have your mode 1, 2, and 3. And then you have your charger built in down here. So, nicely compact just for a little simple controller. Um, it does require 6 AA batteries in the back. And what I found really nice 
it came with a screw in it originally that you have to unscrew to be able to open up the back but once you get that screw taken out it does come with the locks on the controller so you don't have to worry about taking the screw out every time because you can just get rid of that or save it for another RC remote if you happen to lose one out of another one and then they just lock in and it's not I mean it's not going nowhere it's in there pretty good so that's about it for your controller pretty basic um, it feels very nice in the hand by the way I have to mention it's got a nice little finger rest up here if you like to fly like I do with your thumbs and it does have enough sticks to fly like this if you fly with your uh, pointer finger and thumbs together so that's the review of the controller let's let's jump down let's get into depth about this helicopter because there's a lot that I want to bring up about it all right YouTube so we're back to look at the helicopter um, the first thing I really want to point out on this helicopter and it, it's just one of the flaws I want to bring out um, the charger and the on and off switch and again this is just a small little flaw that can kind of bug people especially if you're like me you got a little bit bigger fingers and stuff it can be kind of hard to plug the charger in here because it might not look like it because I'm holding it at an angle on the camera but if you look at it level there's just a tiny little clearance and when you're trying to plug in that charger or reach your finger in here to reach this off switch you kind of got to get in behind the frame to get it to turn on and plug in the charger now with that being said that's about the only downfall of the helicopter itself um, I want to point out with it being two channel the tail rotor blade is completely fake there, there is no power there is nothing needed to move the helicopter forward or reverse and your steering is actually done up here by just a little tilt right or left in the main blade section but what I would like to mention about this this tail rotor is pretty cool because usually on the helicopters that you get nowadays they're up here on top to make it go forward or backwards this looks very scale and when I say scale I mean like a full scale helicopter it looks very scale when it's flying through the air because the main blades generate enough lift to or uh, enough airflow, enough airflow, I should say, to make this spin. So that is constantly moving while you're flying. It it looks very cool in the air. I have to say so myself. When I flew it to do a test run on it, so I can review it, I really enjoyed just the looks of this because it makes it look like it's a four channel or something like it's a little bit more functional than what you're actually flying. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the way this two channel helicopter looks because I'm not sure if a lot of people really think about this or not but it's it's really genius if you think about it so let me focus the camera and see if I can get some better exposure <clears throat> right here this helicopter is perfectly designed since you have no control of forward or backwards all you have is steering and throttle it is perfectly designed for the helicopter for this the blades to be centered to where the helicopter always has a little bit of forward flying motion. Now, uh, I'm only bringing this up is because I want to go into detail because not a lot of people think about what go into this. But for a helicopter to fly, you know, it has to be balanced. But with you not having control of forward and backwards constantly, all you got is throttle, you know, pretty much, and steering right and left you have you don't have y'all or nothing like that you just have left and right steering and forward and uh, <clears throat> this helicopter is perfectly designed and very stable in the air where it is at it couldn't have been no better when you take this thing off it would go up and then it will fly forward and believe it or not you'll see in the flight test that it has pretty good speed forward it's not too much and it's not too little it's a very enjoyable flight um, with it being balanced like it is and everything's balancing just on these blades you know when you're flying it it's hard to understand how the helicopter just doesn't spin freely well that is what your trims are for on your controller and I will bring this out now this even though it's a two channel helicopter a lot of people believe that the less channels an RC device has the easier it is to fly yes that can be true 
but it can also be false. It depends on the aircraft you are flying and how touchy it is, how sensitive, and you, you really need experience. I would actually recommend just going with something like a little three channel helicopter, something that you have a bit more control of because it's just as easy to fly, if not easier, than this thing. And the reason I say that, getting to my point now, when you take this off, everything's perfectly balanced on that center blade. It requires a lot of trim to get this helicopter balanced in the air to keep it from doing that when you take it off. Now this does require a little bit of experience and fast movements on the controls until you can get it trimmed out to keep it from flying into anything. It can seem a bit of a pain, but once you get used to it, this helicopter flies flawlessly. And I, I think I have covered everything that I wanted to point out on this helicopter. It's a very smooth design. The LED lights on the front are almost blinding bright. It, it's ridiculous. I, I could understand maybe going with one on the nose as bright as they are because these two together will drain your battery a little bit faster but they are very bright and, and this helicopter really it, it doesn't need to be flown outside. The littlest breeze with you only having control of the steering and throttle if wind hits this and you're flying forward and it's just the slightest breeze, this helicopter is going to start drifting backwards. And this helicopter, if it manages to spin itself around, it'll just keep going until you kill the throttle or it'll fly into something. It is by no means an outdoor helicopter, so don't think you can get this and go outside and fly it. Uh, even if the wind's not blowing, if, if the AC kicks on in the house, it will affect this helicopter. No ceiling fans, nothing like that. But overall, it, it is the best two-channel helicopter that anyone can own. Um, if I ever come across another one, I will purchase it from uh, a dealer if I find it somewhere. It is a very smooth flying helicopter and I enjoy it a lot. But I think that's enough said about the controller and the helicopter itself. I've covered what I really wanted to. Let's do a, uh, let's do a flight and then we'll come back and if I missed anything, I'll say it before we sign off. Here comes the flight video. All right, YouTube, so one thing I wanna point out before we actually fly is how quick this helicopter connects. Uh, there's no safety feature, like you don't have to push the throttle up or down for it to bind. E even though that's kind of a safety issue with maybe like younger people or somebody inexperienced, just remember to keep the throttle down because it only takes a split second for this helicopter to bind up to the controller. So let's turn the controller on that is how bright the LEDs are. I mean, that is insane for this, this little two-channel helicopter. But I'm just going to flip the controller on, and it is bound. I mean, there is no delay at all, so always be sure to keep this throttle down. But let's set the camera up, and let's get a flop video of it, and here we go. Alright, YouTube, so I think I'm going to hand launch this helicopter. Uh, just because like I said when you take it off for the first time it likes to spin until you get it trimmed out So I'm gonna hand launch it and get it trimmed out and maybe I can keep the helicopter in the video It's kind of hard to record with an iPhone so you guys will have to bear with me. So here we go Alright, so obviously I need a little bit more trim. You can see how the helicopter is wobbling in the AC a little bit. So since we got some AC, I think that's going to com conclude the flight video. But you guys, even though I can't get it that good in the camera, this thing flies sweet once it's trimmed out. It's definitely not for a beginner pilot. 
uh, after flying this a few times, you need a little bit of an experience, experience flying these just so you know how to load the controls quickly. But it's got plenty of power, plenty of forward speed. Let's go back down to the table and have our final thoughts. Alright YouTube, so for this review I'm going to rate this helicopter a 9 out of 10, if not a 9.5. And, and I say that just because once you get it trimmed out and you have a bigger area than what I have, like if I'm flying this in the living room, it is much more easier to control. It, it flies very great. So overall, at least 9, 9.5 for this helicopter and I rarely don't rate things this high. But this is a very good quality helicopter for what you're going to pay for on Amazon, somewhere around like $17. Um, this is a very smooth little flying helicopter. And the tail rotor, even though it is not usable when you're flying it, it adds amazing character. This helicopter is very nice. Uh, be perfect for a gift for somebody with just a little bit of experience. It is tough, so I reckon if you get it for somebody that don't have as much as experience, they shouldn't. It, it should have some durability to it. The blades don't fold in as much as a as a standard helicopter would, so you might have some uh, blade breakage issues. But the the kit comes with a a whole of another set of blades. So. You guys, this is Jesse's RC. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I could not do this without you guys. And thanks for watching.